Let me tell you how bamboo like his wings. Bamboo like his wings with a little bit of buttermilk ranch on the side. Now, you know, some people like uh, blue cheese. I'm just personally not into blue cheese. It's, you know, I'm pretty sure it's great for others. It's just a little too much power for me. So here's the ingredients all spread out for my personal buttermilk ranch sauce, all right? Uh, some key ingredients, as you see. Got my buttermilk, got my sour cream, got the mayo. So I'll just start out with that. I start out with about two cups of the sour cream. Good thing about this recipe is easy. You just pouring everything in and mixing, literally. So, you know, don't worry about the the little specifics, all right? So then I'm gonna mix in the mayo. So with the mayo, I got about a quarter cup of may mayonnaise, and this is just regular mayonnaise, Hellman's, Dukes. Those are really good. Um, and you know, I usually don't like to shout out, you know any particular brand, but with mayonnaise, you know, you have to be specific about consistency, flavor. Don't use Miracle Whip, not for this recipe, okay? And it's the buttermilk. Buttermilk is amazing. Uh, it's, you know, what it really is, it's the milk left over after they churn butter. So it's really acidic, really thick compared to milk. And it's very good for this recipe. So I got those in, right? So I got, is about teaspoons of minced garlic. Just throw that all in. All right. Got some fresh dill. I just took this right off the stem and just keep it as it is. So you just wanna throw all of that dill in. And think about dill, I'm smelling it right now. It's very, very, very fresh flavor. All right, so then we got our minced chives. All right, so these, this right here is actually was dried chives that I rehydrated. So to rehydrate any dry herb, you just put a little water, let it sit for a little while, then strain out that water, all right? And the reason why I wanted it to dehydrate is I didn't want it to be like crunchy, you know, a little dry chives are a bit crunchy. So I just didn't want that. All right, I took a little bit, couple leaves, just a couple leaves, you know, of, of some fresh parsley. I cut it, parsley, cut it up, and throw it in here also. All right, for the rest of the flavors, some pepper, some salt and two tablespoons of lemon juice. And now the measurements for all of these ingredients will be at the bottom of the page. So just check those out in case you wanna recreate this. And this is an amazing recipe to recreate and I promise you, it's worth the steps. Do this rather than going out and buying some ranch sauce as pre-made and we're just gonna mix this. You know, it ain't gonna look pretty right away but it's gonna come together. I know everyone in the room is just starting to smell those flavors come together, man. It just smells so fresh. And the dill and just everything. And you'll see, this is not your average ranch sauce you're gonna get out of bottle. This is some some high quality stuff right here. All right? I'm gonna curse it right now. So you can just check it out. You see what I'm saying? A little thick, but still at the same time, not too much. So what we're gonna do right now is uh, we got all the ingredients combined. It's smelling great. I'm pretty sure it's gonna taste amazing. So I'm gonna let this sit in the refrigerator for a little while, let it chill a bit. We're gonna get to frying that chicken, finish up our chicken, and uh, we'll be done really, really soon. Once I sauce the chicken, put a little bit of sauce on the side, everybody in the room be going crazy for more Henny Wings. All right, but before I get let go, this is optional but I'm gonna do it anyway. Take a couple things of hot sauce. One, two, three, three jugs, three and a half. And mix that hot sauce in. Some people might be afraid of flavor, but we not, all right? Now you can see, you can barely notice the hot sauce was put in. But we gonna taste that little kick. It's gonna complement well with the Henny Wings, all right? So now, like I said, putting it in the refrigerator, we gonna get those wings out coat and everything will be done soon bamboo eats